the the good idea i can't i can't find the talk at the moment but i i know there's a talk that i have played on the drama show uh which talks about the center for the less good idea and i think that's about hanging on to whatever you had in mind when you started out on something because probably there'll be a problem with that and then you've got to move on to some other version of it that's more practical and this is gradually uh, applying in practice to things I'm thinking about. I, when um, Joss Stone started talking about her CD, Never Forget My Love, um, as a, a going back to Dusty Springfield's Burt Bacharach, Dion Warwick style, I thought she'd be doing um, a, a tour which was in that, in that um, style. But from what I can see, most of her concerts are uh, showing off all the songs that she's done, but which is probably what the audience is, is after. Maybe that's how it works. John was making remarks about Elton John. I think Elton John promoted his new, his new CD when he visited Exeter, and quite right, quite right too. But anyway, um, at one point I thought, OK, well... If HMV, because this all, all relates to HMV and CDs in my mind, um, ways in which HMV can uh, carry on doing something that relates to, to music as well as all the clothing and merchandise. And at one point they were going to invite the Simitones there, but there's too many Simitones. So I thought perhaps they'd, they would have um, Joss Stone or somebody promoting their CD. And then, then I thought, well, perhaps Debenhams, because the Debenhams building has closed. But if, if um, the look of a CD is going back to long dresses and lounge suits and evening wear, performance and so forth, may, maybe a department store or series of department stores would be, be the basis of a tour for that somehow. Uh, but that... that didn't, didn't seem to happen but then they, they've opened this hut or I'd call it a hut a wooden chalet uh, which is part of Princess Hay and it's quite close to, to Debenhams it's at the sort of back end of Debenhams going towards Southern Hay and um, access all aerials are able to I think they'll probably be able to use it again they've certainly had one week there so maybe now this is about the third or fourth version of a good idea to start with. Uh, we can do things just with sound and edit all together later on. So I've got it in mind that um, various things could have happened or will happen or might happen in that space. That's to say a space within 50 yards of that wooden structure. Um, including various things that could happen within within Debenhams um, or might have happened at different times. And all we've got as a record of that is, is the sound, uh, which might be fictional. Don't know, anyway, how it's gonna, gonna work out. But th this partly came to my, my, my mind, I've forgotten the name of this already, so I've got to fold this back to this piece of paper. Uh, it's the, I think it's called The Edge of the Reel. Uh, no, it's not on this bit. It's got to get the right name for this. Yes, the edge of the reel uh, is very close to that. So that's a that's a, a shop that is not not occupied at the moment, except by a gallery. The um, vi video projection. Uh, if you if you go to data, d I think there's two A's in it or three A's in it. D, d a a t a. You'll find playlists there. So these, these things do go virtual or online as well. Um, but it, occur, it occurred to me with that that it, some of it relates in style to the, the demo scene, which I think is still going. And I did put out a link to some DOS versions, which obviously were done quite a long time ago. Uh, but maybe Tech Exeter, um, Tech Exeter obviously are very current with their technology, very I'm not, I'm not trying to make, make them out as a bunch of um, demo scene fanatics or anything like that, but uh, some of them may be able to, to, to introduce you if you were interested to certain aspects of the demo scene. 
and certainly if um, if somebody or a few people from Tech Exeter were in that gallery premises close to Access All Aerials I, th I think it would be very interesting but it's probably quite impractical to make these suggestions it's probably going to happen in different places there's there's quite a big space at Collider where Tech Exeter could set up their kit but um, if there are bits of MP3 as a result of any of this that could be stuck together at later dates on a radio broadcast that would that would make some sort of sense anyway uh, this is a track from a CD player this is, this is definitely going to work 